they're not gonna help someone like that. Because their goal isn't to get help, their goal is to bring you down to their level or lower. They feel like their life is out of control and they want to see that happen to other people. I mean, especially if you've never experienced that before. But I have multiple times, so I can see it now clearly. And when I see that, I'm like, I'm not having any part of you. Cut that person out. And I'm not talking about in like a spiteful way or anything. It's just like, just cut contact off with that person, period. You don't want anything to do with that person. Because that will just make your life more miserable. You know, so other than that, all right, you don't put up with that, all right? But I'm just talking about a person where they actually care for you back and they have flaws. Working through those flaws is essential, I think. Being able to accept it, you know, it's not a matter of improving or anything. It's just like, are you okay with this person not being perfect? And that is key to any relationship because no one's perfect. So that includes accepting your own flaws. I think uh, the people who are really harsh on other people are oftentimes the harshest on themselves because they look in the mirror and they don't like what they see. Deep down inside, they look at themselves and they detest something. That's why they're so hard on other people because they, they're hard on themselves too and they want to improve. But in reality, sometimes you don't get better. Doesn't mean don't try. You have to be able to accept yourself the way you are. Otherwise, how are you going to accept someone else? <laughs>